And you might have to, um, on your stories, swipe to go to people that maybe like you're not like popping up. They're not popping up right away in the front because sometimes the front are people like you, like it's Meg for me, like Meg and my Instagram girl always pop up. I'm like, they don't need more love on my things right now. Those are, that's fun time. Okay, there's five minutes. Okay, now this is the more 
um, I would say like tedious thing. So this is where you're going to find a hashtag on Instagram and you're going to go in and you are going to like, like, and comment on posts within that hashtag, if that makes sense. So, um, like go into things that are your niche. Um, like for me, I might go into like mama four or four kids and crazy or family fun Friday, something that's like today it's relatable. It's very specific to me where it's family it's kids. Um, maybe it's dairy free, maybe bar workouts or whatever is like something specific to you. You're going to go into, we're going to pick two hashtags. Um, you're going to go in and you're just going to comment on 10 people. And if you feel like a good vibe with them, like they're if you feel like your people, you can follow them, but I don't follow them. Um, I just, that's better. I'm a lot brighter. <laughs> um, I just comment on their stuff. So, um, I'm going to go into like, and what's cool. So if you go into tags on Instagram, you'll see like all the other tags that you've searched. So you don't have to be like, Oh, what, what are good ones? They should be there for you when you start doing this a little bit more frequently. So um, one thing that's been working for me is fashion. Like, oh, I get a lot of questions about it. <laughs> I'm not a fashionista at all. But so I've been doing more fashion stuff. So maybe you have horses or dogs or empty nester or kids or, you know, whatever. Maybe you have teenagers. Like, I'm recording this, so I'm making sure I'm including everybody. <laughs> um, whatever niche you are in like those hashtags and then um, I was telling the girls yesterday if you click on like one that's healthy recipes you'll see the little related ones up top and as you hit those they get smaller and smaller and those are the ones that you want to go look in so like maybe you put like outfit of the day as a I'm just going back to that fashion example you can push outfit of the day that hashtag is going to come up with um, outfit of the day fashion has 11 million posts. I don't want to find people in there. I'm not going to find them. But if I click on outfit of the day spelled out, now I'm at 48.4 million. Now, if I click like outfit goals, now I'm at 1.6. Um, what I wore today, oh, that one goes up. So inspo fashion, that's 137. I can click on recent and those might be more of my like smaller accounts that I can relate with. Does that make sense? So it kind of like start here with a general concept and then you might have to click like three, four, five levels down, but that'll give you that same niche and it just give you like the everyday person instead of following and liking those big bloggers. And then make sure you click recent. There's a top and there's a recent. Make sure you click recent because top is gonna be like the top performing posts. So you're gonna get those bloggers, you're gonna get the ones with like 100 plus likes where the recent ones, she has six likes. She has 16 likes right now. Like they're not like they posted and there's 500 likes within a minute. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So to, maybe right now is just, is you taking time to find, you know, six or seven hashtags that you can do this with tomorrow. So if that's what you need to do right now, that's fine, but it's important to have those hashtags. Um, Emily, who did our IG social media training a couple weeks ago, most of you know I've hired her. She helps me with my Instagram. She's found those hashtags for me. So it's kind of nice to, you know, maybe you need to seek that out and have someone help you find those hashtags or take some of your work time to find those hashtags. But once you do, it will be really helpful for you. So that's what we're going to do. I don't really set a timer for this, but for time purposes, I will, I'll do like 15 minutes, I think.
Hey, Randy. We are just kind of doing those hashtag things that we talked about yesterday. So we're just right at that point, um, commenting, picking two hashtags and trying to hit 10 people in each hashtag. I did put a timer on Brandy, so we won't just <laughs> keep rolling doing this because you can get sucked in.
Likely. We are just finding a couple hashtags that fit our niche, niche, however you want to say it, um, and just commenting on there. I think we're almost done with this part. We have like a minute left. Um, so maybe you just want to go through your news feed and comment like on your news feed while we wrap this up. And then I did record this, so I'll put it in the um, message for us and team page that people can go back. Sounds good.
go ahead and wrap up. My timer's going off, and I'm finishing a comment. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we have liked or commented on 25 photos in our newsfeed. We've done five minutes in stories and just commenting in there. We've done about 15 minutes in hashtags, just networking and stuff in there. Now we're just going to go follow like 50 to 100 people. So we're, I'll just set the timer again for two minutes and just this is where I have been going to like fashion blogs or people that like, like, I'm not a fashionista, but I love looking at that stuff. So I'm sure my niche is the same way. And it was funny, we were in um, California and Megan Allison kept going like, you're so fashionable, like you've got it all together. And I'm like, I don't, but I do watch Instagram. <laughs> and I feel like just looking at my closet, I've been able to piece different things together. So I'm like, okay, maybe this is what other moms do too. <laughs> like maybe follow do you follow Sister Studio? Um, I don't think so. Oh, she's the best. She's my favorite. It's <laughs> just if you want to be inspired by like affordable mom fashion, she's yeah. really good. She always posts great deals. And <laughs> so, Blakely, that's where I would go. And like, if that's your thing, like if you love that, the Sister Studio IG. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't, but she is. I've seen her pop up. Yes. Um. But I would just go to her followers or what's, what I've been doing even more so is going to like a post of theirs and clicking on the people who like the post because those people are engaging okay. and following people from there. Does that make sense? Yes. Because I have gone to her and done that, followed people who were following yeah. her, but I like the post idea. Yeah. People who actually like I was her. doing the account, but I'm like, a lot of people can follow the account and not be active. But if yes. I go to the people that are liking the things, at least they're scrolling through Instagram and using it. So, um, so we'll just do like whatever you're comfortable with. Um, I've been doing like 50 to a hundred. Um, so whatever you're comfortable with, find something that's pertinent. And I do try to mix it up. So it's not always fashion. Sometimes it's like a devotional. Sometimes it's, um, like Proverbs 31 ministries, but that's a lot of coaches on there. So that gets tricky. Um, so just smaller brands, like maybe following like Ruth Schwenk, who is the creator of and contributor to Proverbs 31, if that makes sense. So again, kind of like we talked about the hashtag, start with one spot and maybe they have like a different thing that you can spin off of or maybe like if it's Nike, go to Nike women and or maybe it's like Nike runner or you know what I mean? Like finding those subcategories that are still like 100,000 plus accounts, but <clears throat> will give you a little bit more, you know like a smaller platform to go off of or like big families, <laughs> like big families who have like four or more kids, those kinds of things, um, to see. Yeah, that. So, um, just click when you're done. And then if you get to your follows, cause this should not take long. The next one is going into your followers. So going into your profile, clicking on followers, and then at the top, um, following five back, so I've been following five of the people that are following me back and then picking five different people who are following me, but I'm not following and just engaging with them. Does that make sense? So people that are following me that I'm not following and engaging with them or that you can be following them. It doesn't matter. I just am trying to engage with the people that are doing that. So deal. Okay, cool. Here we go. And I know when we first started doing this, they said, just follow the first 100. I don't follow the first 100. I look at their profile and one, I make sure I can say their name. 
<laughs> because that's always awkward. And usually like if it's in a different language, clearly they're not going to be maybe in the US or in a different country. Um, and then, so I make sure I can say their name and they have like a clear profile picture. And definitely if they have a kid in a profile picture, I'll follow because there's gonna be more on my page for them to relate to. Or like newly married. So just some things to look for so that you're getting a little bit more quality people to your niche versus just a 21 year old following this fashion instead. <laughs>
I just put my message. It'll let me. Oh, I can't copy and paste. It won't let me even type. It won't even let me type in here. That's weird. Okay, I'll put them in um, the team page. But my scripts for um, when people are following me or when they follow me back, because I was sending messages and I was like, oh, they're following me back. That's how they follow me. So I just say, like, I acknowledge that. Thanks for following me back. What drew you to quick like on my page or whatever? But I can't share them in here and it's not letting me share them. Um, and the team page. So I'll put those in there so you can see them. So I send the same message. I just um, say thank you for the follow back on my IG journey or thank you for the follow. So I think mind blowing, but just that one word it recognizes the fact that you, you followed them first. And so you don't come off as like, how'd you find my page? And then they're like, uh, you followed me first. I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. That, that's great. Thanks. they don't have to follow you back and I think that's like super super key like they don't have to follow you back so it's fun to like recognize that like obviously you guys have something in common so um and I always like to know why they're following me is it faith is it fitness is it because of a mom post is it, like what stuck out to them because the more I can hear that from followers um that just tells me what to put out in my content so um now we're gonna message 10 followers just that simple message hey thanks for following my ig journey i just said motherhood fitness and jesus are basically my life these days so i hope something in there um you can relate with relate to like relate to um is there something specific that stuck out to you to follow And usually like in the bio, um, there'll be something. And so I can say like, are you into fitness? Like this girl just had mom at a four. So obviously it's something that we can relate to. So um, I just acknowledge that.
And just like every other time, it's a great opportunity to clean up your list of people are following you. They're like, you don't need to follow me. <laughs> Maybe not like a creepy guy, but like sometimes I get like motivational speech, like, like a, I don't know, like a Josh Coates or something like that. That I'm like, you don't, you're not my niche. Like, I hope I can give you something, but I'm probably not going to give you the stuff that you want. Have you guys hit your 10 yet or not yet? Oh, like it's gone. All right, I'm gonna send out five more and then we'll move on to the next thing.
Okay, so now we're gonna get into our stories and people watching those. So this is where it gets, again, a little bit harder because you kind of have to weed out the people um, as far as are they coaches, are they your clients already, kind of going through there. And I think the key with this is, is having that script ready so that you can send it out and then just, again, customizing it, taking it a second and putting, you know, a positive or a connection at the beginning or the end. Um, and you can do three people a day. You can do four people a day. You can do five people, like whatever seems to work well for you or whatever abundance you have. Because the last thing I want is to tell you, you need to go do 10 on your stories but you only have three new people watching. You have three new people watching, like celebrate that and message all of them. Um, so do what you can with this step. Um, Jenny, if you have to get off, you won't hurt my feelings. I'll keep rolling. <laughs> it's fine. I know time-wise, um, we say network hour, but this generally takes me about an hour and 15 minutes um, to kind of go through to hit all of this. But these next messages of posts and stories, I also count as my invites because I messaged them for watching my stories, thanking them. I've posted about a 21 day nutrition group and I've also posted about my three day refresh group. So if they've been watching my stories the last 24 to 48 hours, there's been an invitation up. So I don't feel bad sending them the invitation of, you know, you've seen me post, thanks for watching my stories. Did, you know, was this something you were interested in? So um, I will pull up and read to you, let's see if I can find it. Meg, just a little copy of this. So, where'd it go? Um, Instagram. Hey, so and so, not sure if you saw, but I just shared on my stories about the three week group I'm starting November 4th to help us lose a few pounds before Thanksgiving. Would you want more information on that? Um, people who liked or commented on a post you put up. Hey, I saw you liked my post about my three week group I'm starting on November 4th to help us lose a few pounds before Thanksgiving. Would you want more information on that? Super simple, short, and sweet. The intent is just to get that invite out there. Okay, these are people that are liking it. They're commenting on your journey. They're doing all of that. So send the invite out um, and we'll go from there. So I'm going to do 10 people on my posts and 10 people on my stories for the morning. And that's where I'm going to cut out. So those are the last two big to-dos on here. And then that is the network hour I've been doing.
I don't know if you're interested, but I'm hosting a 21 day group in November to really focus on healthy habits going into the holiday and create routines so that we're set up for the new year. Uh, we're doing at home workouts and a simple nutrition plan. Would you be interested in hearing the details? All right, guys, so that is what I have been doing. Super simple. Um, it feels like you're on your phone forever, which is really hard for me to do, but it's networking, it's connecting, it's engaging. Um, and now what I am going to do is I have a post up ready to roll. So I'll put this post up. Um, so now I did all of this connection. People are coming to my page. People are seeing my name and they'll have a post up and hopefully, you know, they like it. Hopefully it's something that they can relate to. So now I have my post up um, and now I'm done. I could be done for the day working and feel good about the actions that I had. I've sent, um, you know, five, 10, 15, like 25 to 30 messages, 25 to 30 connections, hopefully 20 invites if you have them or at least five, um, at least five, minimum five. Um, but good solid invites that people liked your stuff. They liked your posts. They liked your stories or whatever. Um, and now you can connect with them. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hopping on. If you are listening to the recording, will you just message me and let me know that you did this and if it was helpful. Um, I will schedule another one of these next week for a daytime and a nighttime so that we can um, work on this as a team. So, all right guys, have a great Friday. We'll see you later.